Hello, I'm Alan Nisse with a two-part in the tutorial on the new and exciting Scout Trace files. In the first part of this tutorial, I'd like to explain the technique and indications of these files, and in the second part, I'll go through a few cases. The Scout Trace files are developed by Dr. Trope and Debillion and are sold through Brassler USA. They're designed to replace hand files sizes 10 through 20 in difficult to instrument root canals or normal canals where more efficient instrumentation than hand files is desired. All clinicians know that instrumenting a curved or calcified root canal from a size 8 to a size 20 is one of the most challenging aspects of endodontic instrumentation. Once any uh, canal is instrumented to a size 20, getting it to a larger apical size or shape is a lot easier. The scout race files do this early stage of instrumentation far more efficiently and predictably than hand files and produce a patent canal that your file system of choice can then prepare for obturation. As you know, I currently use the endosequence and the bioarray system as my preferred instrumentation systems but you could use any system to finish uh, canals once the scout race files have been utilized for early enlargement. So what constitutes the scout race system and what are the indications and contraindications for their use? The scout race files have the same geometric design as the regular race files, meaning that they are electropolished, triangular, non-landed files with variable pitch and helical angles. In addition, they have the alternating contact points like the endosequence files. These design features help make a strong instrument that cuts efficiently, stays centered, and does not get sucked down the canal. An assorted pack of scout race files uh, is made up of five individual files. The first three are sizes 10 tips with 02, 04, and 06 tapers, and the last two have sizes 15 and 20 tips with an O2 taper. Now, you don't always have to use every single file in the system. I've found that many combinations can be helpful, with as few as a single file to as many as all five. For the most part, the first three files that are sizes 10 with variable tapers are excellent in managing most tight cases. Dr. Strope and Debillion recommend two possible combinations for two separate type canals. For obliterated canals uh, with gentle curvature, they recommend getting sizes 8 hand file to working length, then using sizes 10.02 uh, followed by 10.04 to that length, using gentle strokes at about 900 RPM. Once you confirm the fit of a 15.02 hand file, then you can proceed with endosequence or virus instrumentation protocol. For cases with severe curvature, they recommend confirming working length with a size 8 followed by uh, sizes 1002, 1502, and 2002 at 600 RPM. Basically, the same thing you would be doing with hand files, except that you're using nitride rotary files at 600 RPM. You then confirm this with a size 1502 hand file before initiating your endosequence and bioarrays protocol. I've found that other possible combinations of these uh, files can also be effective 